Great, so we're gonna use the skeleton to look at some of the anatomy around the elbow. The thing that you see right away when you look at somebody's elbow or feel it is the point of the elbow, the electronon process, which is actually this bony prominence here. And that's actually part of the ulna bone, the most proximal end of the ulna bone. And it's big and bulky because the triceps tendon attaches there and that's an important attachment with a lot of force. So the skeleton fortifies itself there. That uh, bony prominence doesn't have much to do with medial or lateral epicondylitis. Uh, those conditions happen near the medial and lateral epicondyle of the distal humerus. So now we're on a different bone. We're talking about the end of the humerus. Medial epicondyle is this bony bump here and the lateral epicondyle is this bony bump here. The other thing I think it's neat to look at on the skeleton is the fact that the elbow has a couple of different functions. It has a hinge-like function for extension and flexion, but it also has this ability to allow the forearm and the hand to supinate and pronate when we rotate our wrist and hand like that. So the radius is orbiting around the elbow joint with the hand and wrist, and the ulna is staying put. Uh, so those are the anatomic features that I think we can see best on the skeleton.